Hey guys, what's happening? So, I have a few glow plugs here that have been fouled out. And, you know, there's no reason why you, you shouldn't be able to fix these things. As long as you're getting continuity, the coil's not damaged or broken. So I'm going to test these real fast with my multimeter. And then I, uh... Okay, let's see if the coil's okay. But there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to clean these things. Because it's kind of like a spark plug. A spark plug can get fouled out too, which will prevent the uh, spark igniting. So both these coils are fine. It's just uh, they're fouled out. So it's not giving a consistent uh, fire on the nitro engine. So I designed these little holders in uh, Fusion 360 and I printed out my 3D printer. And they're supposed to hold this glow plug into position like that. And if you can see, I'm going to put those in my ultrasonic cleaner here next over here. And you want to use a solvent, not an extremely harsh solvent, because I think you might have a plastic insulator in here. So you don't want something that's going to actually dissolve metal. But at the same time, it needs to be strong enough to break up the carbon that's possibly on these uh, coils. So I'm going to plop those in. I'm heating it up right now. And uh, I also made one for a turbo plug too. So you have a turbo plug. That's a, that's, a, that's a turbo plug right there. You can see it's shaped differently. Um, so we'll get this going. Let's heat up for a second, then we'll put it in there. And uh, yeah, you want these pointing down. So as the ultrasonic cleaner is pulsing up, you want it to pulse inside of this thing, and then you want the debris to fall back down. So you don't want it sideways. You want it to be facing down, pulsing up, debris coming down. All right. Yeah, so back in the day, like... Uh, <laughs> When I first started on RC, like, you know, a long, long time ago, you know, got out of it and got back into it, uh, they didn't have ultrasonic cleaners. So there's a lot of stuff that exists now that didn't exist before, like, I mean, obviously 3D printers and ultrasonic cleaners and all these cool tools, so... All right, so like I said, I'll let this heat up, and then we're going to put it in there, and we'll see how this works. All right, so I can't remember if I mentioned this is diesel fuel, and it's not as volatile as gas. Actually, I should have made that a little bit. <laughs> longer but uh so that's actually uh, printed in pla plus so melting is probably will start probably around 180 degrees celsius all right time give it 30 minutes i'm sure this plastic might get a little soft we'll see yeah i did a lot of debris at the bottom already Alright, I'm done here, and looks like the parts stay together, the cleaner. So that, any other residual diesel off of there. Alright, and this thing's still at 80 degrees Celsius, so it's pretty hot. Yeah, it's a little soft. Can't do that with one hand. All right, we'll get a get that out of my grab my glow plug and got her. All right, so a lot of carbon came out of this one right here, but the coil looks a lot cleaner. Right, let's make sure these things still work. There we go. There we go. Cool. So hopefully this will extend the life of these things. But yeah, like I said, a lot of carbon came out of this thing. You can see it on the towel right there. Alright, cool. Awesome.